Hello, welcome to a Race Screws unboxing video. Here we have Hot Wheels 72 count cases. As you can tell, they're both the same code, NNH, NNH. These are 2017 cases. N is the case code. NH is kind of like a mixed assortment of N. It's kind of unusual to wind up with the same case code. Look, they make uh, thousands of cases, and you're going to get a lot that have duplicate NNH, but then you'll have NNJ, NNK, a lot of different variations. What's special about this video is I, I got them from two different sources. This one here came through Mattel's distribution and San Ber distribution center in San Bernardino, California. This one came through Fort Worth, Texas. Both factory sealed cases. As you can tell on the top, single layer of tape. Both look just fine. It's kind of interesting that the same case code wound up going through East Coast uh, or Midwest and then uh, <laughs> West Coast, where I'm at here in California. Somebody asked, <laughs> someone said that they were told that Mattel, you know, kind of spreads out treasure, super treasure hunts by region. Well, how could they? Look, the same case code wound up in Texas, wound up in California. I did want to point this out, though. Even though they're both single layers of tape, uh, they got a little crooked with the tape and it got moved. You can see this one's crooked too. It's go going like an angle. Both both are sealed. Uh, neither one I suspect to be tampered with. So this video, uh, since it's gonna, I have uh, two cases to go through, I might not uh, spend a lot of time in each one. I basically want to compare the two cases and then see. Hopefully it's going to show that... I I have a random treasure hunt or a random super treasure hunt because they're supposed to be randomly inserted. See, not only that, they wind up in different places. Uh, who knows? So I'm going to be going through them a little bit. Uh, hopefully, hopefully they're and they, I assume that they're going to be basically packed the same, same cars and basically the same area, except for where the uh, treasure hunts have been randomly inserted. We'll find out. First, uh oh, I missed one. First, let me see if I have them the same way. Because if they are packed the same, then they'll be the same way. Well, they're a little flipped, uh, but at, at least it looks like uh, this would be the correct way. Down here, I can see uh, uh, orange wheels right here, two orange wheels, two orange wheels here. So they're basically row by row. Here we go. Let me sit down. I'm going to try to keep both cases on camera, just so you know that there's no switcheroos going on. You're going to see exactly as I pull them out. 32 Ford, Futurismo, and there you have Piranha Terror. Over on this side, we have the Camaro. The 67 Camaro, it has been retooled. Now it has a plastic base. No opening hood. Still looks fantastic, but now it's, uh, I believe, the last car that had a metal body and metal base opening hood uh, in the basic assortment. There's another model like Charger, but who knows? I haven't seen that one in a while, so more than likely, it's not going to be, uh, when, it come, when that one ever gets released, it's going to have a sealed hood as well. By the way, we're going to be looking for this car to be the super treasure in, in this assortment. We're going to look for rubber tires. And special paint. That's uh, what signifies the super treasure hunts. Might not get one. More than likely not going to get one. I do so many case unboxings a year. And then uh, I wind up with uh, one or two supers a year. So they're pretty hard to come by. Here's the mix. Here's the Camaro on the right side. It's a regular one. Regular paint. Regular wheels. Bone shaker. Hey, look at that pizza. Pizza with a big fat pepperoni. Yep, Circle Flame logo. So yeah, both cases had the basic treasure hunt in that row. Now basic treasure hunts are definitely easier to find, a lot more common. They seem to be practically in every case. Let's go ahead and take a quick glance at this one. Rally Cat, I believe 2017, uh, the end case is the first appearance for Rally Cat. Brand new Hot Wheels model. So if you have not seen it, let me take a moment to take a look at it. Looks like it's going to be a good track car. Has nice even sides so the boosters can grab it. Looks like it may get through the loops. And there it is. Track star is right there. Let's go ahead and grab a few more. Did 
This one had the rally cat down here. Aston Martin, rally cat, Aston Martin, flyby, flyby. Oh, two Astons. So are we gonna get another Aston? So it looks like they could be packed. They, they, might, they might have the same number of cars. They might be on different rows. There's an Aston. This one's cool. Solid muscle. This one's brand new to the end case as well, as far as I recall. Looks like it could be a track car too. Oh, it's got a little bumper. Mm, it's adjustable. You can see that little part, so you can adjust the uh, bumper. Maybe let it go through the loops. Hot Wilder. There's Hot Wilder. Hey, we get a recolor. I think it's a recolor. Volkswagen T2 pickup. I'm pretty sure. I don't think it was in the last case. Take a look at the T2. Popular model for people to collect. Solid muscle. In satin red. Let's see, what do we have here? Oh, yeah, there you go. Rogue Hog in gold chrome. Here you have the Nissan Skyline HT 2000 GTX. Take a look at the uh, decos. And a T2. Over on this side. Road Hog. And two Nissan Skylines HT 2000 GTX. Here's the second one on this side. Oh, oh, here's a fantastic new model. But let's take a look at the decos over here. McLaren F1 GTR. Fantastic. Nice to have a McLaren back in the lineup. A long time. I think Speed Machines was the last time that they had a McLaren. I'm pretty sure this is a new model. Here you have HW Pursuit. Let me take a look at the base real quick. I'm pretty sure it's a new model. Copyright 2017. So it is a new model. And the base code, production code is K19. Hold on. Yep, K19 on the base. Kind of hard to see in the camera. So you can take my word for that. By the way, speaking of production codes, oh, so K19, this case here, I got this case in like mid July. This one, I got it in late June. So big difference in. Uh, I, maybe they come in through California, get shipped to Te I don't. I really don't pay attention. Just whenever the cases show up, I get the cases. But what did I say, K19? Uh, K19, and then we're going to want to see what... They should have the same, uh, same production. Here's Piranha Terra on this one. Much easier to see here. K19, which means it was produced the 19th week of 2017. Here you have Baja Holler. Here you have the 25th. 2005 Ford Mustang and a 12 Ford Fiesta K19 same base code so even though they have the same production code and wind up getting uh, he, getting uh, to the stage or at least a uh, couple weeks apart who knows track hammer 12 Ford Fiesta Baja holler by the way if you've seen on the back of the card red lettering uh, international packages do not have the, the case code on our English on the uh, USA cards we have the case code as the last digit they do not do that for international cases I do not know why and I cannot read uh, the rest of the code actually I take it back I can read uh, one thing on the rest of the code let me see if I can show that coming up here we have the 12 Ford Fiesta and a couple Arkham Asylum Batmobiles over here we have Vendetta and the Super Chrome series Two of them, and what, let's see. What I can't tell you with the uh, code is, I believe this here is the model DVC 25. DVC 25, I believe, is the 12 Ford Fiesta. And if you look on the bottom of the car, uh, we might be able to find DVC 25. Well, it's not on the base of the Fiesta, but on some cars they show the uh, code on the base. I will check again in a bit. Here you go, a cool combi. I almost called it the Volkswagen combi. Uh, cool combi in black. New color release for cool combi. Definitely a collector favorite to collect. Crate racer and Vendetta and silver for the Super Chromes. Cool combi. Oh, Moon Eyes. I just noticed that. Got a Moon Eyes decoration. And a couple of the crate racer. Here's a crate racer and a new model. Here you have the time shifter 
And for a fantasy model, a Hot Wheels design, looking pretty cool. Both have uh, mixed wheels. Uh, and if you look at the package, red wheel in the front, red wheel in the front, white in the back. So it's supposed to be that way, and we're going to find that out over there as well, more than likely. Pretty cool for a fantasy model. Nice, uh, nice design. Looks like, uh, yep, track stars. Looks like it has the design that should allow it to work in the boosters pretty good. Boosters, loops, and curves. And yes, uh, if you're new, this is a video where you can post a suggestion or two for track time or for a model that you'd like to see me use on the track. I pick models, do a track time video. I pick the cars, and then I come to the comments and then find somebody who suggested the car. So let's say if I use pedal driver, for example, I'll come back to the comments and find somebody who suggested pedal driver, and that's how they get a shout out in my track time videos. Here's a couple samples of high roller and pedal driver. Voltage spike, 70 Chevelle, RDO2, 70 Chevy Chevelle, uh, new release. Actually, most of these, uh, I think there's new color, new color. I don't remember if that was in the last case or not. So you can see the similarity in the models from case to case, except look, side ripper. So even in the same case code, we're getting different cars. Now let's go ahead and take out the divider to get to the bottom half of the cars. Uh, this is, this is going to be a little tricky. I got to reach so far and things are going to get messed up. Ain't no way around it. That's what happens when I try to keep everything on camera so you know uh, exactly what comes out. No switcheroos. Oh yeah, nice carryover. 71 Bluebird 510 wagon and Rally Cat. People like to keep an eye on the grills, what kind of grills you get with the wagon. This one has a bumpy textured grill. It looks like a, no, it's textured. Textured grill. Let's see what we got over on this side. Same three models. Let me check the grills. Textured, textured. I don't know if you can still get a smooth grill variation or not. Well, we, we got a little bit of abuse over here in the, in the packages. Sometimes that means that's where the Supra got stuck because apparently they insert them later on. Uh, even if it's a bad card, I'll take a Supra, okay? Rick Storm and a couple solid muscle. Uh, alternate color. I believe we had a reddish version earlier in the case. It's an alternate color. The same three models here. It's a little pickup truck. Look, you got, hey, is that for Nitrox or what is that in the back? Rig Storm, good for the track, nice and shiny. Who got who got all who got all munched here? These two guys got munched. <laughs> just a couple samples. Hey, look, they're dollar cars. They just uh, get them in the case and get it, get it out. Sixty-nine Dodge Charger five hundred, black and yellow. Another Rally Cat. And if you're new, you're asking why is there doubles? Well, because it's a mixed assortment for retail, right? They put them on the pegs, and so you know if there's doesn't matter how many there are of each car. It's just a, a, miss, a mix for retail. Got a little something special. Somebody having a party, a little confetti or something in the, uh, in the factory. I don't know. Custom Ford Bronco in lavender, flat lavender. A couple samples of Project Speeder. And the same on this side as well. We'll give it a quick pass in case there's some type of variation or something. Eagle-eyed viewers. Here you have head starter, two samples, and another Futurismo. I'm pretty sure that was on the top. Same over here. Mm, I like head starter. Nice, nice model. I forgot what it was a, a, a symbol of. It's actually a tuned version of some. Mm, I forgot what it was a tuned version, but it's kind of real. It, it's it's a, it's a nod to some model, some real car. Quad rod and fantastic McLaren F1 GTR. Take a quick look at this one in case there's anything of note. Now, no tail light decorations. We have the sides and the roof, and no decos in the front. Over on this side, 
couple quad rods. Not one of my favorite models of the year. Not even close. 2005 Ford Mustang. Really don't like the uh, lackluster handlebars. They just kind of uh, look a little clunky. But what can I say? Hey, Repu, this was in the last case. So it carries over into this month's assortment as well. Two samples with Nerf Hammer. That's a good car. I know some people are going to be looking for that new Nerf Hammer. Hey, recolor of Surf and Turf. Mm, that color might have been in the last case. I'm not positive. And 67 Pontiac Firebird. 400. Let me bring these guys closer. So the McLaren is definitely a nice uh, uh, addition to the, uh oh, to the Hot Wheels lineup. Had a couple uh, track cars. I forgot the name. New models. Here we have Mazda Repu, Nerve Hammer, RE, Rotary Engine Pickup, right? Uh, I think so. You guys try to educate me. I, I do try to learn surf and turf. That's the uh, sunroof. Baja Holler. This carries over. Ice Charger from Fast and Furious. Fate of the Furious. Oh, here's another new model to the case. 17 Nissan GTR R35. Yeah, very popular. Very, very popular model. Good luck finding them in the stores. Uh, we're even having end cases showing up here in uh, California. Uh, I have not seen this model here. Tail light decorations. Nothing on the side. You have a hood print. And in the front, you have some decorations on the grill. Uh, uh oh. Why is, there, why is there so much space right there? Here's another one. Another one. Here you have voltage bike. Uh, we got to investigate what's going on here. Uh, there's a little bit of gap in the body there. Body in the base. Oh, what happened? Got a little crooked. Yeah, look at that. Hey, man, you missed the hole. Watch the comments, okay? I got a family friendly channel. Don't be, uh, don't be saying stuff. I have to delete it. Little skip on the rivet. Now, some people I like collecting errors, uh, so this is this is kind of nice for the collection. That kind of thing I don't mind. That the errors that I really can't stand nowadays is when there's flashing in the wheel, metal flashing. I uh, I won't even buy them. If I, if I find them in the store, I won't buy them. Uh, I don't find them interesting. In interesting. And a couple of samples. Here's the samples on this side. Also got the ice charger. Now this is the international case and then the USA case, mm, who knows when that can show up, who knows a month later. Ford Bronco, Dodge Viper RT, two samples, convertible. Mm, then I think this one's modified, it's, it's a cat model that's been around a long time but it's been uh, updated I believe. I can't, I can't cover every car, every model, too many cars a year and I got things I got to do myself. There's other people in blogs, and other people can take care of that. But if you search for it, I believe the casting has been changed. 17 Pagani Waira Roadster. This one was out last month or the month before. So it's nice to see it in this assortment as well. And guess what? Same cars on this side. Well, no super treasure hunt. But we did get the basic. If you want to know about uh, treasure hunts, here's some videos. If you get a chance, every weekend I do a Race Grooves Weekend Show. I talk about uh, things on the channel. I feature viewer comments. You never know when your comment's going to show up in the Weekend Show. It's my way to give back. You become part of the channel. You get to be part of the Weekend Show. Thank you for watching. Happy collecting. And have fun with your toys, too. Bye-bye.